So here's the scenario. You send around a draft release of all claims to the other attorneys in the case. You thought after concluding mediation that everybody was agreed on the basic terms of the settlement, but there are always the finer points to be hammered out. So you email everyone a draft, or if you're really high tech, a link to a draft in your OneDrive folder so everyone can edit the same document, and ask for feedback on paragraph four, which you believe is really going to be the only point of contention at this stage of the game. You were very specific in your email, but lo and behold, somebody goes and bleeds red line all over your document. Some people don't follow instructions very well, do they? Good news. You could have sent out the draft configured to only allow them edit privileges on the one paragraph you wanted feedback on. In Microsoft Word, you can designate certain portions of your documents as editable while locking down other sections to prevent text changes. You can start in one of two ways. One is to go to the File tab and click Protect Document, then choose Restrict Editing. Or you could go to the Review tab and click Restrict Editing. Either method is going to get you to the same Restrict Editing pane on the right side of your document window. To restrict what text others can edit, we're going to be using Sections 2, Editing Restrictions, and 3, Start Enforcement. First, we're going to block editing on the entire document. After that, we can go in and select exceptions that they can edit. Now that we've made the entire document essentially read-only, we can select just those paragraphs that will allow them to edit. For example, if you want to designate an entire paragraph as editable, just triple-click on it, hover your mouse anywhere within the paragraph, and click three times rapidly to select the entire paragraph. What if there happen to be multiple paragraphs you want them to edit, and they're not all together in one spot? Once you've selected the first paragraph, hold down your control key and select any other text you want to make editable. Here, for example, I can triple click on that first paragraph, hold down my control key, and then either triple click this paragraph or hover my mouse over in the left hand margin and using the left mouse button, drag down and select. Notice that now both paragraphs have a gray background signifying that they're both selected. So the steps for designating this text to be editable are select the text you want to designate as editable, which we've just done, check the box under Exceptions to allow others to edit the selected text, click Yes, Start Enforcing Protection to lock the document with a password. Once you complete Step 3, you'll be prompted for a password. Very important! Write this password down somewhere or make it something you won't forget. Even Microsoft can't help you retrieve it if you lose it. Once you've locked the document, you and your collaborators will see this when opening the document. They can't unlock it without clicking Stop Protection and supplying the password, which only you know, right? So now you can send this out to the rest of the group, secure in the knowledge that they're not going to be able to edit the parts of the document you want to remain intact. As annoying as having others giving you unsolicited text critiques is, you will occasionally run into those people who decide they need to mess with your document styles. To stop this activity in its tracks, we're going to do something similar in the same Restrict Editing pane using the Formatting Restrictions area. Check the box next to Limit Formatting to a Selection of Styles and click the Settings link beneath it. You'll get this dialog box to select which styles your reviewers may use. If you want to stop your reviewers from altering headings, etc., choose the multiple body text and normal styles. Also, it's probably a good idea to check the boxes next to Block Theme or Scheme Switching and Block Quick Style Set Switching, just to be absolutely sure to lock things down. Leave the checkbox next to Allow Auto Format to Override Formatting Restrictions unchecked. Once you click OK, you'll get this prompt that says, This document may contain formatting or styles that aren't allowed. Do you want to remove them? Do not click Yes, because that will remove every restricted style from the document. 
That may be helpful when you're limiting the styles contained in a document, but that's not what we're doing here, so click No here. Once you click No and set a password, your reviewers can only work with the styles you selected. To double check your work, click on the small launcher arrow in the lower right hand corner of the styles area on the home tab. Then click the manage styles button at the bottom of the style pane that pops up. Restricted styles have a lock icon next to them. They'll also see a considerably smaller set of styles in the styles area of the home tab and in the styles pane if they've enabled that. All of that signals you've successfully restricted them from editing your styles. And if you found this tip helpful, take a look at this track changes video.